Hello Mass Attacks here and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have a look at a battle from the tier 10 Russian reward heavy tank, the Object 260. My crew, really good crew in this, they're from the Object 705 here, they're all under the 5th skill. The equipment that I use on this is the improved vents, venting system, the improved gun rammer, innovative loading system, and the improved vertical stabiliser, which is stabilising equipment system. Let's have a look at the battle. Today we're playing on Prokhorovka. It's a standard battle. We've got the 456 matchmaking. I'm top tier today. I'm heading to the ridge in the middle. I feel when you're top tier heavy tank, this is the position for you. You can light people up. That's peeking over this ridge, trying to shoot our people on the hill. You can also get shots over to the hill, as long as your team lights them up for you. So I find this a good position to start with. As you can see, I've spotted WZ114. Didn't penetrate though. Pulling back a little bit since I've been spotted. Don't want to get shot from the side. There's a Lynx spotted, wheeled vehicle. Getting a nice shot into him. It'd be nice if we got rid of all their scouts. Let's talk about this tank then. I did show that I've got the improved equipment on this tank. Since it's the last tank of the first reward campaign, I thought after all that hard work, being able to get it, I thought I'd compliment it, use them bonds for something. I know a lot of people don't like the bonds. Lots of things lit now. The MX-50B, we'll get a nice shot into him. Bounce his shot. There's another shot. The MX-50B again, another shot and tracked him. If you know about this tank, the great feature on it is its shell velocity. Which is 1259 which is really good don't have to give much lead on your shots pretty much pressing the fire button and it's hitting can't seem to penetrate that 257 anymore it's a defender didn't hit there so with this tank you get a 122mm gun, it has 440 alpha damage, 260 penetration. With my crew and equipment, really good crew, improved equipment, I've got my reload down to 8.74 seconds. I've got an aiming time of just 2 seconds and a dispersion of 0.32, which is all excellent. Since it's a Russian tank, you only get six degrees of gun depression, which isn't the worst, but if it had any more gun depression, I don't think I'd play any other tank at tier 10. We've taken a shot now from the Object 252U. That must have been a lucky shot for him. He took our track, so we've repaired that. Artillery's hit us. Object 260 behind us. It's just bounced a shot. I've just used my first aid kit. Hit me stunned crew. Gonna push forward a little bit. Concerned about them in the west shooting us. So I should be out of their view range. Can I find another shot? didn't penetrate I feel it's time to move now I'm gonna push over to this east side a little bit of a snapshot there with a dispersion of 0.32 you can't take them snapshots so I'm pushing through I feel like we need to take one side now with me pushing I'm hoping my team follows us, comes over the top of the hill, also the tank's in the middle, 
pushing over the train lines. Looks like they've all done it. I'm going straight in for this defender. Short bottom plate. Angle our armor towards them. So we'll bounce the shot. And we'll take them out. Backing off. Looking for that WZ114. There's a street van 1030 at the back. Behind this building. Gonna push through. And there he is, he's lit. No problems with the snapshot into him. He's lit, so everybody's hitting him and taking out. I'm gonna fly over this hill and ram the 114. Nice. He's stuck in position. And we'll take him out between myself and the IS-7. You can quite easily use this tank as a battering ram. Its mobility for a heavy tank is amazing. You get a top speed of 60. That's better than some mediums. You get a 1200 horsepower engine in this, which gives you a power to weight ratio of 19.45. So that's all good. Time to push over these lines again. I'll push right to the back of the map. There's a little dip, so I can hide in, and then peer over the little hill. Could probably spot from over here. RHM. It's went out. I'll put a shot in. Didn't look like I hit with it. So I was seeing you quite easy spot with this tank. I've got my view range over the 440. It's 442.5 to be exact. There's the object 260 on the enemy team. Tried to get a side of his turret. Didn't penetrate. Where's he going? I suspect he'll have a decent view range as well, since I have. So I'm just pulling back a bit. Very close battle so far. Somebody's hit the 260, can we take him out? It bounced, but somebody's taking him out. We've taken a shot from that 260. Shooting gold. So I'm glad he's out. 9-9. Nine, nine. I know I'm lit, so I'm just doing some little manoeuvres. Still an artillery on their side. It's obviously going to be a dear one. I've got a tank push in the middle. A Libertier. So I'm going to push the top now. T-34. Couldn't get a shot in. Gonna keep on pushing, see what's in this corner, see if I can spot the artillery. There it is. Get a shot into it. So we're gonna take it out. You dead 15 16 hit us. Hold down T34. I push in. So he has to push further forward to use his gun depression. I've taken the artillery out since nobody else did and got some assistance on the T-34 and he's been taken out just going to be careful stay behind this mound since I know I'm lit I'm running out of standard ammo here after this battle I noticed that I had a problem with my ammo loadout so I changed it slightly as I don't like using gold I changed it I think to 3 HA and 7 gold, which gives us another 5 standard shells, which is the APCR. I'm clicking on the minimap now, showing them where the UDES 1516 is. As they're pushing across the middle of the field. I'm hoping our Leopard 1 can light them up. So let me tell you about the armour on this tank. We'll start with the turret. Got 350 millimeters on the front, 240 millimeters on the side, 100 millimeters on the rear, which makes this turret excellent. If you're slightly angling your turret with the 240 on the side, they're still not going to penetrate that. They're not going to penetrate the front with 350. There's the UDES lit up. Get a shot into him. Somebody else is getting a shot into him. 
Can we get a second in? He's went out. I'll shoot a blind shot. That's the last of me standard ammo. So I'm afraid I'm shooting gold. I'm going to push forward a little bit. See if I can light them up. They're all huddled in one place. Are you? I'm not sure where he's went, but we've got a conqueror covering the lines near our base. In case they've all pushed down and start to cap. IS 7's going to peek over the middle. So now the hull armour. On paper, it says 150 on the front, 150 on the side, 70 on the rear. Which the side and rear, perfectly fine. Side, excellent. You've never really got strong armour on the rear. But it says 150 on the front. I had a look on Tanks GG to see what the armour was like on the front. And when you face on, this tank is a pike nose. So your bottom plate is actually 250 millimetres with the angling. And then the top part of your hull with the angling takes it to 330. So basically the armour on this tank is excellent. Oh, you has been spotted. And he's been taken out, which is really good. I haven't got nothing with a better view range than us. I've just had a platoon request from the WZ1114. I've joined. It's because we've both got three kills, we can get the brothers in arms if we both survive the battle. We need somebody to spot here. In the chat, myself and a few others have told the Leopard 1 to start the cap. Seeing if the fire into the cap, we will spot them. But we've lost the tank, but there's the object 268. We'll get a nice shot into him. Pull him back a bit. There's the Udes firing at us. He didn't penetrate. I've taken a blind shot into the object 268. Obviously didn't take him out. Pull him back. Since I'm lit. I'm a one-shotter now. For them three tanks. Just pull them back. Wait until I'm not lit up. The leopards start the cap. So they'll have to come to us. They can't just sit there. Or they lose. So I'm repositioned. There we are. The object 268. Spotted him. Taking them out. Pull them back. Give myself some cover behind this mound that we were at earlier on. Wait until I'm not spotted. Then I'll see if I can light them up. There's the RHM. Can I find a shot? There he is. Nice shot into him and he's been taken out. Only the Udes 15 16 left. The Leopard's moving over to join us. And see some shots going towards him. So he's definitely lit. Less than two minutes left. The leopard looks like he's pushing straight in. There's the Udes. Can we get a shot in? Yep, we'll get a shot in. Is anybody going to finish him off for the win? Can I get a second shot in? Yep, that was me. Great win. Let's have a quick look at the stats. Was only a class 2 badge. We've got the Brothers in Arms award for platooning up. You both have to survive and get at least 3 kills. We got 5 kills. We've got the steel wall for ricocheting 3,540 potential damage. And the high caliber for our 5,742 damage with 2,812 assist. Top of the tree for XP with a base XP of 1149. Top of the tree for damage. We actually lost 2,966 credits, but we made 3,534 XP. That's due to playing a premium vehicle and an award for the first victory each day, which was at times two. 
I'd like to thank you for watching today's battle. If you're new, please subscribe to my channel, little icons, bottom right hand corner. And as always, if you have any feedback, please could you leave it via the thumbs button in the comment section below. Cheers.